All right, so here we go. So this is our section 2.2, part two. Uh, that other video was just getting a little bit long, so uh, we'll start here. This video is a little more fun because you get to play around with stuff. So we're going to start out with this uh, piece that I'll have you run in C++ Visualizer. So remember, pythontutor.com, select C++. And, uh, and then we're going to run this code in here. So here we have uh, all these lines that, uh, that you see of this code, and uh, they're just in weird order. Now I'll tell you that the lines themselves, each one of the lines, uh, you know, we're fine. So you won't have any issues with that, but they're all mixed up and you have to rearrange them. So pause the video and, uh, take these and, oh, real quick, before we pause it, even though I said that already, um, make sure that when you're going through these and, uh, in fact, let me pull out of this, uh, view here real quick and turn that off, turn that off. Uh, and you have to be careful with fonts. And so most of the time, we're not going to copy and paste code from uh, something like PowerPoint, and, uh, you know, into a compiler and, and get it to work, right? So uh, you're going to code directly in there. You know, you don't use Microsoft Word to, to code. Uh, it's not something that you would do. And let me show you just why real quick. So just when fonts change and they have like little things to make them, I don't know, cute or whatever, it can mess things up. So look at the quotes that we have there. Pretty standard. Straightforward. I think this is Courier. Um, I'm gonna hit uh, hit another quote in there, and you notice how I change it. And all of a sudden, the quote now has this like curly stuff to it, and it made it look all funky. This will, um, I guess, I guess it looks better. I don't know, uh, but this will definitely give you an error in the compiler. It will not know what this is. Okay, so you have to be a little bit careful of that. Um, the, and the quotes will always mess you up. So uh, if you're copying and pasting from something like PowerPoint. So you have to be really careful of that. Um, if you get an error on this line, that is your problem. So, um, and you would get a syntax error here. So I'm gonna back up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight that whole thing and hit Control C on my keyboard to copy. And, uh, and then let's go ahead and let me open a window here that has this in here. Maybe this one? Sure, why not? Let's say edit this code, get rid of all this junk, and paste this in here, okay? So once you've done that and, uh, and you have this all set up, now make sure this says C++, right? Uh, then go ahead, see if you can get into the right order, hit visualize execution and step through it, make sure that it works and prints out this line. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video real quick. You need to pause the video. Uh, doesn't do me any good to pause it, so uh, it has to be you. Uh, so go ahead and pause it real quick and see if you can do that and then uh, come back to this. Okay, so hopefully you got it to work and, uh, and you're good to go. But just in case you didn't, let me walk through this real quick. Uh, so I know just looking at this that there are a few things, well, a lot of things out of order. Uh, remember, the, the lines are fine. Um, it's just they're in the wrong order. Okay, so... I know just looking at this that um, my comment, this section right here, I'm going to highlight it and then hit Control X so that it will uh, cut out of there. And I know that goes up to the top. So that's the comment that I have in here. So I'm going to come before Int and I'm going to hit Enter, go down, and then Control V to paste and put in my title. Okay, so I know, okay, int main, all right, good, this is the start of my function, so, you know, it should be sort of at the top, but I need to add some more things in there, all right? So as I look at this, and I look right below here, and I'm like, wait a second, that's a closed brace, so I know that doesn't go there. So I'm going to highlight it, control X, and come to all the way down to the bottom, control V, and then I'm going to take the one that matches up with it, and put that up there. Okay, so I know that, okay, now at least those are, you know, hopefully in the right spot. So I see this namespace standard down here, and I'm I know that doesn't go there. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to say cut or control uh, um, X, mind blank there for a second, sorry. And I'm going to put this up here using namespace standard. But I know that I have to call in the input output stream library first. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to put that above there. And then now I feel like, okay, this is pretty good. So I might leave it main down just a line or two. Um, so I'm good there. You can put it right next to it. It's fine. Um, but I know return zero has to go down here before the end. And now I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, hopefully this works. Uh, so let's try it out. So I'm going to visualize. Hopefully I don't get any errors here. And it'll pop over to the other screen. And I'm just going to say forward. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And I'm done. And that's it. So we're good to go on that one. Okay, so let me go back over here to this. And uh, let's look at another little scenario. Okay, so we have this one. 
And let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so from our, from our uh, section of the book, we have uh, this particular statement. So looking at this, see if, uh, hopefully you saw that other program open, add this right after that C outline about Columbus and see if you can get this to output correctly. Um, it's, uh, it's all messed up, I'll just say that. So we've got the, the ends are messed up. Remember case sensitivity, that's a big deal, right? Um, you can see in here that the uh, quotes will definitely mess you up. Uh, so just a couple little hints, got to fix the ends um, or use inline. There's different ways of doing it. So uh, try and use the ends for now, let's say. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and then uh, you need to pause it and give yourself a chance to see if you can get th this line to print. And if you want to just dump the whole Columbus line and just use this line instead, that's fine. So copy and paste this in across and copy and paste this in that same area and then uh, see if you can fix it so you get an output. Okay, so I put a solution in here uh, that you can see, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the actual compiler and we'll do it in here. Okay, so I just copy and pasted that whole line in there. And uh, first thing you notice right off the bat, remember case sensitivity is a big deal. So capital C is nothing. Uh, we want, oops, we want lowercase c. So I'm gonna put C right here. And, uh, and this is okay, right? So I'm shouting out these little whatever's after this. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Incidentally, you can take out, um, you may notice in my uh, piece over there, I, on the, in the PowerPoint, I took out the spaces so it would fit all in one line. That's why I did that. You don't have to do it. But I, for, I don't know, just to make it easier to read, I usually leave the spaces in because if you just leave this in there and you take out all the spaces and the whole thing, it's kind of hard to read. Um, so I typically like to include a space here. It makes no difference at all to the compiler. So the first thing the computer does is take out all the white space. So it, it doesn't matter to it at all. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to go and leave the spaces in so we can. it's easier for us to read. And um, you'll notice here, remember I was telling you about the quotes, copying and pasting from something like, uh, you know, any Microsoft product, uh, so PowerPoint, Word, whatever. Uh, so the little curly thing for the quotes, no, we are dumping that. So I'm going to get rid of that. And it says red. And then I'm going to go ahead and back this up so I get rid of that extra space. I don't need it. Uh, but the back the backslash in is the one we want for our uh, new line operator. So I'm going to say get rid of that baby and go ahead and put in. And you notice it changed the blue right away. So here we have the, um, the back line, or the, the backspace in, so new line operator. Now I have to get rid of this other, like, I don't know, uh, I guess supposedly nice looking uh, quotes in there. And we're gonna go ahead and replace that. So backspace and get that out of there. Okay, so I'm good with this. This is fine to break it up. So that's that's okay. Uh, but again, here I have the quotes. So I'm gonna do the quotes again, put blue in there. Now this time I had a new line, but then I put a space in, not a good idea. So that doesn't do you any good, right? So now it just thinks it's a string and it's like, hey, what am I looking for here? So the, it's confused a little bit, All right? So I'm gonna back that up. Same thing here, I'm gonna get rid of that space there. You can leave it in if you want, but then it will include this space in your code. Um, now so you're going down to a new line, so it doesn't really probably matter that much, but uh, we'll just get rid of it just for coding practice. Okay, fix that quote. Totally fine with this again, breaking up the whole thing's fine. So notice we're doing something similar again. Uh, and on this one, they have the quotes here. The new line operator looks good, right? But the problem is, we want to pull this back inside the quotes for it to work properly. Now you could do something like this. We could end this and then we could go ahead and have another uh, set of these little babies in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put in, oh, that's kind of weird. I'm going to go ahead and put in um, the little uh, quotes in here. And now I'm going to put in a new line operator that does the same thing, uh, but we don't really need to do that. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and go back and put this in here. All right, so it's inside that quote. Okay, now I have too many of those. And I'm gonna come in here and we have green. Get rid of all these other extra quotes in here and green there. And uh, let's go ahead and put in another set. And just to mix it up, I'm gonna put end L. So we have an end line uh, just to uh, finish this little baby up and a semicolon. Very important to have the semicolon. Okay, and I have all these extra spaces in here for some reason. Uh, so now I'm going to hit Visualize Execution, roll the dice, see if we come up with a good solution here. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, so here we go. One statement, and this should 
just in case. Uh, this should give us all four, red, blue, yellow, green, all stepping down to the next line, including this one that's going down to end L. I could have put backslash in inside here too, inside this quote, um, but sometimes, you know, like at the end, I like to put end L. I don't know why, but in my statement, I, if I'm doing it, I like to put it there. So anyway, so that's that. So hopefully you did okay with that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back here. And our last piece for this is uh, to go ahead and have you write your own program, okay? So you can use the things that we've been doing as a base, but then you're going to have to write a few of your own statements. And, uh, well, I mean, technically, I guess you could do this on one. It would just be um, kind of ridiculous. But anyway, so I'll, I'll let you decide that. Uh, but here we go. We've got uh, write a program that will display your name on the first line, your street address on the second line, your city, state, and zip code on the third line, and your telephone number on the fourth line. Okay, so those are, uh, I don't know, those are instructions for that piece. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and give you a chance to do that. And then uh, go ahead and come back and I'll walk you through. Okay, so we have our little problem here that we're going to do. So here's our problem statement. We're going to go ahead and uh, go back over here. And uh, let's just use this one. Why not? Okay, so um, I'm following along the program. We're going to do the same type of thing. So instead of a crazy mix up program, I don't know what I might say here, whatever we want to call this one. So name uh and info whatever i get that looks terrible maybe we do this maybe we do like name info i don't know anyway so we have that piece in there and i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to erase this whole statement okay but i know that this is the same type of setup that i want to use and hopefully you're sort of getting the hang of this um as we're going through down through here including the auto stream library name space we're using a standard here's our main function we're opening uh the curly braces and we're going to Go to town in here. Okay, so um, I'm going to tab over. You could double space or tab over, uh, and we'll get to that. Uh, on talk about why that's important here in a little bit too. I'll double space out, but tab these. Let's see. Okay, so now I want a see out statement. So my see out statement said, "Hey, I want to go ahead and include the those little babies there." So less than less than, and I'm going to go ahead and have a string here, and I'm going to go ahead and put my name, and then that's it for that. And I guess I'll put a semicolon. We'll see if that works. I don't know. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do this. See anything that I may have missed uh, up there? I'll just bring it down to the next line. Uh, so maybe I look at my code and I'm like, oh man, I forgot to put the either inline or uh, you know the new line operator. So because I did that and I don't know, I, I guess I'm just you know I forgot. So I'll just I'll just add it here. Uh, so, or maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do this. I'll put indel here, just to show you that it can be in there too. Why not? Uh, and then, so we have indel there. So now we're gonna pop down to the next line when it gets to line eight. And let's see, my next thing, um, what is our, wow, this is bad. What is our address at the school anyway? I don't even know. Uh, let's say, oh, I know it's one five. It's old Oregon trail. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, oops. Put my new line operator, be done with that bad boy there. And I'm going to say, keep going, Jeff. And uh, so what do we have next? So Redding, oops, better get my quote in there. Redding, California. And I, ah, is it three? Ah, I think it's three at the college. Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to end my quote there. And I'm going to go ahead and do one of these this time because I'm just mixing it up a little bit. What did I forget on, the set, on uh, line eight? Uh, uh see this should i tell you i did it on purpose or that i just forgot <laughs> i just forgot all right so anyway so we've got this piece in here i'm too busy talking not busy enough coding all right so here we go oops and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and our last line on here was what telephone number so if we put telephone numbers in here so we've got this little piece and then um i don't know what is my office number i always forget i never call myself so i, n I never remember i think it's 2353 pretty sure I don't know okay so we have that piece in there um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a semicolon there actually I might just because I like to stay consistent I like to bring it to the next line I'll put it on an operator inside the quotes and we'll be good to go so let's see if this works I should have left a couple things off just to blow it up um, but I think we fixed everything along the way well I guess we'll find out let's see visualize see what happens no whammies no whammies no whammies 
Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, so here we go. So now we have uh, in our in our main. We're gonna go ahead and run this. I'm gonna click forward. So there's my name. It drops down to the next line. It's gonna now say there we go. One one five 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 Old Oregon Trail. Reading and there's my number and we're done returning zero end of the program so that's it so hopefully you didn't have any issues if you did uh try and look at some of the things in here that, that i've got in here maybe you forgot a semicolon um you know maybe maybe the new line has messed up maybe if you're doing ndl or something you, you know you've got another set of uh, less end signs so take a look at those kinds of things and, and uh, make sure you can get your uh, your code working all right okay so that's the end of the section uh we'll do 2.3 next